Hello, 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 good afternoon, good evening, good morning and welcome. So in the garage, uh, always at the moment, I had a busy, busy week, um, or busy few days since the last video. Um, so I think the last video I'd taken up the concrete in front of the garage and I was going to do a trench and stuff. So I've been a busy, busy boy. Let's have a look. So there's the, the front of the garage that I dug out. There's a trench that I did by hand, and I've gone halfway up the drive with the trench. Um, but it's uh, I've got a digger coming in a couple of days because that was was uh, hard work, and I think I filled up uh, a truckload of ton bags with just that little channel. So uh, let me show you what I've been doing. So I've been scraping up all the um, all the gravel off the drive, as you see. There we go, and I've been bagging it up. And a few local people who need gravel have been uh, coming and picking it up. So I'm going to put on uh, Facebook or something that I've got a whole load of gravel to to, uh, to pick up. Um, I've just laid out a couple of the um, uh, curb stones over there to see how far the board is going to come out. There's the caravan. It looks a bit like a builder's merchant down the side there. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been scraping up all this gravel. Diggers coming on, um, yeah, Monday. So loads of broken slabs. It's a bad idea using these slabs because they're too thin. And all I need to do is drive over them with a truck and they just crack. So what I'm gonna do this morning, job for this morning, is I'm gonna lift all these slabs up, which I only put down a couple of weeks ago. The ones that aren't broken, I'm gonna put around the back. Uh, the ones that are broken, I'm just gonna take to the tip. Um, and then I'm gonna scrape up more gravel for people to uh, to pick up. So this is a ton bag I had in the garage with the old stuff. And then all these rubble sacks um, I filled up last night. And then I've just had, I was gonna do the channels and the curbs um, first and then get the digger and do the, the main bulk of it. But uh, I think that's a bad idea just in case I uh, damage the curb stones um, with the digger. So I've got these three bags that have been delivered from Wix, which are rather expensive compared to uh, another place I'm using called Brunel Building Supplies. Um, so yeah, job for the weekend, or job for today, is take up all these slabs, bag up more gravel. Um, job for the weekend is get a straight line on the uh, edge of the drive along here, dig out these uh, these foundations down here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get busy, but. Do you like what I've done with the place? So yeah, super early. Well, not super early, seven o'clock. So uh, middle of the afternoon. Been awake since about four o'clock thinking about driveways and when to water gravel. Um, I'm, I can get a 20 ton um, gravel delivery uh, for a very good price. Or there's, if I'm using Brunel, um, if they deliver it, then it's a little bit more. So I'm gonna see if I can clear the front get it all dug, dug out. Oh yeah, they're getting rid of stuff. Again, Brunel, I, I looked at Skips, looked at Grab Hire, not that not that cheap. I think your skip was about 210 pounds for a six yard skip. Grab Hire was 220 quid, but that was for 18 tons. And it's regardless of if you fill it up or not, so that was quite pricey. But Brunel Building Supplies, you fill up a ton bag and they will collect it for 30 quid. So that's not bad. So I think I'll do that. I need to find out if you get the tan bag back or not. So yeah, on that note, I'm gonna crack on. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I won't record me doing this because it's gonna be quite boring and tedious, but I'll show you the uh, what I've done tomorrow. Oh, get busy on your drive, dig it up, put it down, lift it up, put it down, get slabs, dig them up, put them down. I'll change your life. See you on the next one, bye.